Hello everyone. In this video, we will be adding and subtracting scientific notation, and this is the second part. In this part, the expressions that we have here do not have the same exponents. Before we go over these examples right here, let's have a review on the basic rule in adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation. Please remember this general rule when adding or subtracting scientific notation. The general rule states that when adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation, the exponent must be the same. So in this case right here, both of these exponents are the same. Both are n and this one right here are both are n. So then we can go ahead and say that this first expression, we can go ahead and add them together. And in this second expression, we can go ahead and add them together since again, their expression exponents are the same. Please remember this, if exponents are not the same, you cannot add scientific notation. So in this first expression that we have right here, we can go ahead and say that we only add their coefficients. So only these two parts shall be added together. And then we are supposed to keep their um, exponent parts. So this would come out C plus d times 10 to the power n. So this is the general rule when adding scientific notation. We only add the coefficients and we keep their exponent. When we subtract, it's pretty much the same thing. We are going to subtract only the coefficients. So both the c and d shall be subtracted um, together and then we keep this exponent parts. So this would come out c minus d times 10 to the power n. Again, I kept this exponent part times 10 to the power n. So this is the general rule in adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation. Okay, now let's use the rules that we have established in determining the sum and difference of these expressions that we have right here. Let's start with this first example. We are supposed to add 2.5 times 10 to the 3 plus 1.9 times 10 to the 5. There are steps that we need to uh, follow in order that we can get the sum of these two expressions here. The first step is to make sure that their exponents are the same. Looking at their exponents that we have right here, we have a 5 and 3. Their exponents are not the same. Again, the rule says their exponents must be the same. There are two options that we can have so that we can make their exponents the same. We can either add two to this exponent right here to make it even with five, or we can subtract two to the five to make it to three. For this example, we're just, we're going to have a plus two to this. We're going to add two to this um, exponent of three to make them even at exponent of five. We remember that when we add number to the exponent, we move the decimal point of the coefficient to the left. And we also remember that if we subtract a number to the exponent, we move the decimal point of the coefficient to the right. Now let's rewrite this one right here. Again, we're adding two to this exponent. So this would come out. So we are adding two to this exponent right here so that their exponents would be even. So three plus two will come out five. But when we add, we remember that we are supposed to move the decimal point of the coefficient to the left. Since we added two, we're moving two places to the left. So that would be one and two. So that's two places to the left because again, that's a plus two right there. So then we put zero in here. So then this um, first scientific notation would come out 0 0.025 times 10 to the power 5. So we already have an exponent of 5. Plus, then we just copy the one that we have right here, the second expression. That's 1.9 times 10 to the power 5. Now notice that there exponents are the same now so that we move on to the second step. The second step is to add or subtract the coefficients and copy the common exponents. So the one that we're adding would only be this coefficient that we have here, the 0 0.025 and then the 1.9. Again, we're adding them together since the operation between these two expressions here is a plus. So we're adding them. So 0 0.025 
plus 1.9 would come out 1.925 times 10 to the power, their common um, exponent, that is to the power 5. So this is the sum of these two expressions that we have up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. The first step is to make sure that their exponents are the same. In this case right here, we have a 4 and a 3. So that tells us that their exponents are not the same. So we have to make sure that their exponents are the same. In this case right here, we can make them even to 3 by subtracting 1 to 4. Or we can add 1 to 3 to make it even at 4. So let's just say we are going to subtract 1 here so that we can um, make it even to 3. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as So again, we are subtracting 1 to this. So I will minus 1 to that to make it even to 3 here because you have 4 minus 1 is actually 3. We remember that when we add a number to the exponent, move the decimal point of the coefficient to the left. Or if we subtract a number to the exponent, move the decimal point of the coefficient to the right. Since we are subtracting here, we are moving the... Um, decimal point of this coefficient to the right one time only. So I am going to move this decimal point one time up there. So again, this represents the minus one, this one right here. So then our expression would come out 72 times 10 to the power, four minus one is three. So we already have a three for that. That's a minus 3.1 times 10 to the power three. As you can see here, both of their exponents are the same so that we can go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step is to add or subtract the coefficients and copy their common um, exponents so that we can go ahead and say that we are going to subtract 72 and 3.1. So when we subtract these two coefficients that we have here, this will give us 68.9. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. So that is 68.9 times 10 to the power 3 since their exponents are the same. If you notice this coefficient that we have here is not in standard form because this value here has to be between 1 through 9.9999 and it repeats. So then we can we need to change this to its standard form. We remember that when the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponent. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponents. So in this case right here, I need to uh, move this decimal point to uh, the uh, space in between 6 and 8 so that it will be between 1 through 9.9999. So then we can go ahead and say that we are moving it to the left. We are going to add this number of moves that we did, which is 1 to the exponent right here. So I'm going to add plus 1 right there. So this gives us 6.89 since the exponent has been moved already um, to the uh, uh, place value after 6. And that is times 10 to the power 3 plus 1 is Four. So this is the uh, difference between these two scientific notation that we have up there. Did you get the same answer as this? Yay! Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So we are supposed to um, add 8.7 times 10 to the negative 4 plus 9.2 times 10 to the negative 6. Again, the first step is to make sure that their exponents are the same. Looking at their exponents, they are not the same. This is negative 4 and this is negative 6. So we have to make sure that their exponents are the same. So in this case right here, we can go ahead and... Um, subtract 2 from here so that they become even negative 6 or we can add um, 2 to this to make it to a uh, negative 4 so they get even. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that um, down here. Since I want this negative 4 to get even with negative 6, so I'm going to subtract 
um, two from here. And so we remember that when we add the number to the exponent, we move the decimal point of the coefficient to the left. And we remember that when we subtract a number to the exponent, we move the decimal point of the coefficient to the right. Since we are um, subtracting um, two here, this means that we are going to move this decimal point to the right two times. So that would be one and two. So the decimal point is going to sit there. And again, this represents the minus two um, that we have on the exponent. So then this expression would come out. Uh, we can put, by the way, put zero um, after the uh, seven right here. So this comes out eight, seven, zero times 10 to the negative four minus two is negative six. And then we're going to add that to um, 9.2 times 10 to the negative 6. So then you can see that both of them have the same exponent of negative 6. So that we can go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step states that we are supposed to add or subtract the coefficients and copy their common um, exponents. So the one that we are going to add would be 870 and 9.2. So again, we're adding them together so that if we um, add these two, this is going to give us... 879.2 times 10 to the negative 6. Notice that this coefficient that we have here is not in standard form because this is way more than 9.9999 here. We remember that when the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponent. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponent. So we are going to move this um, decimal point to the left all the way to the space between 8 and 7 so that it's between 1 through 9.999. So we're going to move this to the left right here. And we remember that, again, when we move to the left, that would be a plus. And then there are two places. So then I go ahead and add 2 also to the exponent. So then we can go ahead and say that our um, standard scientific notation form for this would be 8.792 times 10 to the power negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. So this is the sum of this given um, scientific notation that we have up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we have, the, we have steps to follow in order that we can determine the difference between these two scientific notation right here. The first step is to make sure that their exponents are the same. Looking at this exponents that we have here, they don't have the same exponent. We have a negative 8 and we have a negative 5. There are two options that we can do here. We can either add 3 to this um exponent right here to make it even with negative um, 5, or we can subtract 3 to the negative 5 to make it even with negative 8. So let's just add 3 to this um, exponent right here so that we can go ahead and rewrite this as So again, we are adding 3 to this so that if we add 3 to the negative 8, that comes out negative 5. Now, we remember that when we add a number to the exponent, we move the decimal point of the coefficient to the left. And when we subtract a number to the exponent, we move the decimal point of the coefficient to the right. Since we are adding 3 to this, we are moving the decimal point three places to the left. So that would be one, two, three. So this is where the dot is going to sit. And I'm going to put zeros in between the two dots here. So this would come out 0 0.0072 times 10 to the negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. And then we are going to subtract that with 3.1 times 10 to the negative 5. Now notice that their exponents already are the same, which is at negative 5, so that we can go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step is to add or subtract the coefficients and copy their common exponents. So the one that we are um, 
subtracting would be these two coefficients that we have here. So again, we're going to minus these two so that if we minus these two um, coefficients here, 0 0.0072 minus 3.1, the answer to that would be negative 3.0928 times 10 to the negative 5. This is already in standard form since the value of the A is between the absolute value of 1 through 9.99999. So that means this is already the difference between these two expressions that we have up there. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!